Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidstad. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I'm going to talk about gear, specifically big gear. So there was a guy selling online a little bit of Nikon equipment and I went over to see if there was anything that I could use and he happened to have a 4x5. And this is an ebony 4x5 camera. It has a 75 millimeter Nikkor lens on it. And I like the idea of this camera because it doesn't fold up. Ebony made these with titanium metal and ebony wood. And the whole thing sits inside of a case like this. It's an easy, quick setup. It's actually called a 4x5 SW or an SW45, and it's really made for wide angle photography, which I'm a big fan of. And it was rather inexpensive. I think I spent $500 on this, and that was one of those situations where I'm like, this is a great opportunity to shoot bigger negatives. And I'm inspired to shoot more 4x5, and when I see things like this, these go for a lot more than what he sold it to me for, and I'm not looking to make a dime on it. I'm looking to make photographs with it, but it's one of those things I know I can always get my money out of it. And Ebony is like this incredible brand that I knew nothing of. He had brought it out and showed it to me and said he was a landscape photographer and he hadn't used it in years. And I was like, you know, this is one of those things where as much as I like the Zone system and the Zone 6 cameras, they're folding cameras. And this one doesn't fold. This one just goes right into my case, just as it is. Put the lens cap on. This one goes right into my case like this. Group of film holders right here. And I'm, I'm good to go. And I like that. Again, I look for simplicity. When I make movies, people who know me know I don't like the apparatus. I don't like a lot of light stands and things that bog down the production. I like to shoot with as much available light and some of these side lights when I can so that we can speed up the part that bogs us down, which is the apparatus. Well, this setup is a setup that I think will make it very easy for me to shoot 4x5 on a rather quick way. So we'll see. I'm looking to do some street portraits. I'm looking to document people with some environmental portraits. And this is going to be my go-to camera. So. All right, that's today's photography talk. Have you used an ebony? Do you know about them? Take a look around and let me know what you find. And if you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button and we'll talk some more. Thanks so much for watching.